Ivan's got one. Ivan. I've got one. What about small businesses who are looking to export and uh, is, are spending money on travel or um, or marketing costs? Uh, sure. So, uh, can I just have a show of hands? Who's aware of the Export Market Development Grant Program? Okay, so only a couple. The government provides a, a grant for Australian companies that are seeking to open up new overseas markets for their for their locally developed products. Okay, they provide eight grants, and they provide an incentive of up to fifty percent of eligible overseas marketing expenditure. So, Ivan, to your point, the short version is: if you have an overseas marketing consultant, if you have trade show expenses, if you have free samples. If you have overseas buyers you want to bring to Australia, there are grant subsidies available for those activities. Export market uh, development grants are a really good example. The government's trying to incentivise a behaviour. They're trying to get people to do something that they don't otherwise do. And in this particular case, it's saying, we'll give you up to a maximum grant of $150,000 a year. So that's 300 odd thousand worth of your expenditure. I want to try and open up these markets. So there are significant benefits in exports. There are significant benefits around R&D. And if you're in the right spot with a new product, there can also be significant funds available for commercialisation. If you're, if you're manufacturing a, the best Australian widget and you want to take that into Asia or China or the UK or the US, and you then spend money on travelling over there, developing a website with a US domain, doing marketing materials, going to a trade show, taking samples over and showing people, all of that expenditure fits into what's called this EMDG, Export Market Development Grant, and 50% of it. And the best thing is you can claim the first two years combined. So I won't get into the detail, but because it's a limited grant, you, you want to make sure you're spending the right amount of money at the right time before things like export earnings tests come and throttle the grant later on. Um, so, but that first claim can be two years combined and there is no export earnings test, so what you spend is your eligible expenditure divided at 50%. That's your grant return. And it's products and services, not necessarily Correct. just widgets. Absolutely. It might be that you've got particular intellectual property. We spoke about this yesterday. Intellectual property or a new technology or something you're trying to develop. That's correct. So that sounds fairly attractive. Thank you so much. Um, I've, I've um, just for everyone in the room, I've worked with BSI and they've